welcome to the first Connected Skyish digital concert which has been funded by Arts Council England. Connected Skies really is a project that very much exists due to the current situation. Um, I wanted to find a way in which I could still connect and collaborate with musicians, both here in the UK and internationally. And so really by embracing the and accepting the current situation, using technology of both Zoom to allow uh, the collaboration process and uh, using digital platforms for the performances that this has uh, come to fruition. Um, so I've challenged myself to write six new solo works. Um, the project started in October 2020 and I need to finish the six works by May this year, 2021. Um, and so far I've written pieces for double bass, cello, accordion, working on flute piece and I will also be working on a percussion and a piece for mezzo-soprano. So the first collaboration and the concert that you will hear today is with double bassist Maggie Cox and uh, you'll hear uh, see some sort of footage from our uh, collaboration on the new work uh, The Aching Space Between. Um, I met Maggie actually, no, never actually in person, um, but the, in summer 2020 at the Tanglewood uh, Music Festival uh, where she was a, a double bass fellow and I was a composition fellow. Uh, hopefully we'll get to actually meet in person uh, this, this year or maybe in the future. Um, and we actually worked on a 10 minute um, double bass piece uh, in, in the summer there and I wrote a piece called A Door to Yesterday with her. I loved the collaboration with Maggie so much. She is really open to exploring different sounds, uh, things that maybe she's unfamiliar with that I've sort of wanted to push and explore different things. And she's been really open uh, to everything. Um, and with this piece, The Aching Space Between, which is really um, about the turmoil of emotions and pain that we've all felt uh, during this period with the ongoing social distancing and not being able to connect with our friends and family properly, the kind of normal human connection that has just not been there. Um, and I've done this through lots of sort of gritty gestures in the music, sort of interspersed with sort of softer, harmonic, uh, more longing, emotive passages. And during the collaboration, it was really great to uh, be able to explore the kind of interaction of just the human voice, not necessarily even a sort of classically trained singer's voice, but mixed in with that harmonic sound. And, and Maggie's just been fantastic in will it, being willing to explore all of that. Um, so you will first hear just a few sort of minutes of footage from our, our Zoom collaborations, um, and then a performance that uh, Maggie did uh, of the whole work. Please enjoy and we will have a live Q&A afterwards in a Zoom meeting that you should have the details of if you've signed up. Thank you. Hey Maggie. I think you're muted. Oh, you're muted. Sorry about that. That's all right. How are you doing? I'm good. I just... I know. <laughs> I hope you've been enjoying the music. Oh, it's about, I mean, it's about all of this stuff too. So, yeah, no, I loved reading um, your like little paragraph at the beginning. I thought that was a really, I don't know, I really liked the the title and um, the description of the piece and like. Um, I, sp I think especially like looking at the music after reading that, I've really been loving working on this. It's really great. Oh, I'm glad to, to hear it. And yeah, yeah, I just, yeah, I just wanted to express something of, of both the kind of, I suppose, bubbling anger and frustration about the whole thing and the sort of deep sadness and pain of it all at the same time. So yeah yeah it's not a happy piece <laughs> i mean but it's but i really like it though like between this one and and your other piece like a door to yesterday it's like between the two of them i feel like they kind of like 
summarize like all the feelings that we have now you know like even the door to yesterday stuff ended up being so timely you know yeah just that idea like I, I when I posted on YouTube I'm sure you saw like somebody commented like that they loved the the title and each of the titles of each of the movements and just saying like I wish we did have a door to yesterday yeah. you know yeah so. I mean that was like sort of exactly what it was about really like this kind of longing for yeah the time before <laughs> Okay, I'll I'll stop there. Um, yeah, that's a good place to stop. Okay. So I haven't really figured out like the the distorted sounds with the bow. Yeah, I was the second one was more effective than the first one. Um, okay. Yeah, have you ever listened to any of um, Zaria, who's uh, cello pieces with these in? No, I, I don't think I've heard, or I haven't listened specifically for the distorted stuff. It's like as though um, you, you kind of go in um, to like a kind of sound that you might have made as a beginner, uh -huh. <laughs> um, where it's like this really gritty sound of the, the bow against the string. Uh -huh. um, I'll try it. Let me just. It's it's. I was having trouble doing it without like stopping the bow and having it get stuck. Yeah, it almost gets stuck. Okay. <laughs> like harder even against like push down a bit harder I don't know if that will is the, the, stuff, the stuff at the end there was yeah I I can work on that <laughs> yeah you just uh, uh, uh. Like that? Yeah. That's I really like that. And then it's just Yeah. That's cool. And, yeah. So hopefully it shouldn't be too hard because I tend to have given you the note and then you slide off it. Um, so, uh, uh, bar 32, um, it might have just got left in that top line, but you actually need to set up um, one of those harmonic um, trills uh, to the open string, then okay. catch the other string. Oh. And then continue that through 33? Yeah, exactly, yeah. Oh. And and don't feel like you need to catch um when you're catching the the other string um don't do it in too much of a metrically regular fashion, make okay. it. And then going back uh to sort of those harmonics with um the pulses in, I don't know if there is a way. Maybe it's just me not knowing about how string instruments work with bowing. Is there a way of sort of keeping the bow direction um? for longer periods in the same direction but just making the pulses through like a pressure downwards yeah i was i was going to ask about that so i can try to do i'll start at 23 and try to do it all in one bow oh, uh. yeah i think that's more of what i'd like than than the changing directions harmonic sections like 
48 to 60 is is fine but they're all kind of like works in progress in terms of like clarity okay. and getting all the notes to speak so that's that'll just get better with time yeah I'm gonna give a warning. <laughs> that's okay <laughs>